Sean McGrath with Live Wire Radio here at Dave's Killer Bread headquarters in Milwaukee, Oregon. Now before every show, Dave and his crew will throw bread at audience members. Sounds pretty crazy, but the audience loves it. What inspires them to get all medieval on each other, to hurdle over rows to get to a loaf of bread, to sometimes tackle grandmothers? But we're here to find out. Well, I'm finally here with the man himself, Mr. Dave Dahl. Dave's Killer Bread. That's him. You know, and I thought this would be an exaggeration, but now that I met the guy, it's, it's pretty accurate. In fact, you might be a little bit bigger than this guy. What would you say that you, not the cartoon, but you bench press? 300. 300. That's like 10 more pounds than I do. So hats off to you. I'm going to get to that uh, hurdle in about the next month or so. But anyway, people have been going nuts for your bread at live wire shows ever since you started throwing them in the audience. And uh, I don't know the secret. I'm hoping you do. What, what is the backstory? What, why are people so, so crazy about Dave's Killer Bread? I think some people just like the fact that uh, an ex-con turned his life around and now makes bread. Uh, you know, and it happens to be great bread. It, that, I think the real reason, though, the reason they keep coming back is that it's like the Cadillac of breads. No compromises, sure. uh, over the top, good for you, and uh, tasty, too. So it's good for old people and for high-profile mafia gangsters? Everybody. Everybody. Well, even though we don't have a golden ticket, we're going to get a special tour of the, uh, of the factory here. You're going to show us around, show us some secrets? I will do that. Let's do it. All right. Uh, well, it looks like we're in a warehouse. Am I right? That's where it all begins. OK, I got my fancy hairnet. I brought this one from home. I always... You did not. Well, <laughs> I, I, I paid okay. a high price for it. Oh, okay. And apparently, if you can grow a beard, you're supposed to wear a beard net. But I don't have to worry about that. Thanks, genetics. So we're at a, well, I mean, this is the raw materials that go into bread. This is everything that you, that you put into the bread is all here. Yes. So what's the, what's the first ingredient that we would start with the bread? Cracked wheat. Cracked wheat? Right there. Now, what is the difference between cracked and whole wheat? Well, it's whole wheat that's cracked. Where's the MSG? Um, we don't use MSG. Sorry. Stop rolling. OK, where's the MSG? <laughs> Sorry, we don't use it. <laughs> okay, well, um, we're gonna we're gonna we'll have some MSG shots later from that Chinese place that we did the story on. So, what is this thing? What's this doing? This is called a soaker. This mixer is mixing up grain, in this case, uh, cracked wheat and water, and uh, it's kind of like your cereal in the morning, hot cereal. It's the first stage of Dave's Killer Bread. This is a sponge stage. Actually, this, this is, is already this has been sponge. This is a giant cereal. This is the giant cereal with yeast and sugar and things like that added to it. He'll throw ice on, on top of it because that'll cool down the dough the way we need it. Otherwise, it'll be a hot, soupy mess. Sure. You got to talk to this guy now. He's, he's amazing. So what's happening right now? You want to tell uh, him? Basically, the dough is coming together. Uh, I need a certain amount of time on the mixer to like actually form a cohesive dough. Um, but how, how long do you do that? Um, it fixes about two minutes in first gear, and then between eight, nine, and ten minutes in second gear. It kind of just takes a trained eye to see when the doughs fully come together. Wow. See, it's not quite there yet. When it is, those strands won't be, they'll be a lot longer. Right. And a lot more elastic. But it's, it's definitely developing. I saw this machine in the movie Saw. So, you can use a giant spatula to pull off that, all, all that bread loaf. I mean, it, it, it seems like you can you can have a feasible reason to create the world's largest special. Then you need like the world's largest person to operate it. You're looking at it. Now this seems like uh, like a ride for the bread. It sort of is. Okay. Do you ever have that dream where you are the bread and you're going through this thing and you know you're about to be squished and you can't stop it because you don't speak human because you're bread? No, I haven't. Because I haven't had that dream either. This is one of the coolest things in the bakery right here. This kind of stuff's been around. This technology's been around since like the 1820s. And there's nothing better to roll up bread than that thing right there. It rolls up the flattened pieces of bread. And then it comes down here and compresses in these two uh, pressure plates. So you can check your email on a plane and we can send a space probe to Mars, but this is still the best bet for rolling up bread. 
Correct. My point exactly. Some things don't change, man. So this is where you would have a, a, like a cart fight. Like you would get on a cart, and then your buddy would get on a cart, and then you get some momentum, and then you smash the carts together. I mean, this is for the bread, right? Correct. So this is bread. It's been fully cooked. It's ready to eat. It's ready to eat. You can eat this right now. Wow. But it would be, it would burn your mouth. Okay. It would hurt. That's a depanner, automatic depanner. But he's still got to put the bread on the on the conveyor. That thing over there picks it up, puts it on another conveyor. This conveyor takes it to the towers. It takes about an hour to climb the tower, and an hour to come down the other side. And by that time, it's cool enough to slice. So Dave, we've seen the bread from beginning to end. It's now baked, it's sliced up, now we're packaging it. Do you ever feel a little sad sending your bread off into the world? No, no. It's kind of like a child going off to college, hope for the best. No. Just happy to, happy to see it go. It's meant to be in people's mouths. It's meant to be in their stomachs. It's meant to make them healthy. And this stomach maybe, let's say we get Sean a loaf of the bread and uh, put a little uh, capper on the whole tour, huh? How much money you got? I don't, I don't have any money. Okay, no. What about like a loaf that like fell on the floor that you're gonna throw away anyway? I'll take no. that. I don't even. No. The loaves that go to the pigs, I, maybe I could take one of their loaves. No. Does anybody have any? No. I, I, this has been good. Nice talking to you, kid. Yeah, it's nice talking to you. Thanks, Dave.